friends, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. Today we're gonna to talk about things that I'm nervous about, excited about with owning a new home. If you are new to Freedom in a Budget, welcome, I'm Kelly, and my channel is all about living life well on a budget. And a budget is supposed to be constricting and let you not do anything, no. Budget gives you freedom and the ability to be in control of your money versus your money in control of you. So today I'm gonna to team up with Marissa from The Budgeting Wife, she is so sweet, and we are doing a really fun video together of things that we're nervous about, things that we're excited about with buying a new home. I just bought my house in late July, so I've had it for a little over a month now, actually almost two months now, like a month and a half. And she just signed her papers last week, which is so exciting. So it is so fun to be in this process together. Her and I have done a lot of text back and forth. So we're gonna jump in and share things that we're excited about, nerves about, on being a homeowner. All right, guys, here is Marissa from The Budgeting Wife. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, this thanks for exciting. having me. This it's is so, so fun. I know, we got to meet last year at FinCon and then yeah. right here again. This is awesome. So we're gonna talk about things we are excited and nervous about. So what's something that you're excited or nervous about? So something I'm excited about for becoming a homeowner. Mm -hmm. So Jacob and I bought a house. We live in Portland, Oregon, and it rains a lot. Mm -hmm. And so like October through May, it's like mm -hmm. always raining. And my biggest complaint when we've been living in our apartment is that like we don't have a an assigned parking spot. So we sometimes have to park like a quarter mile down the road. And when you're like grocery shopping and you like come back and you have all your groceries, walking like in the rain mm -hmm. that far and then walking up like two more flights of stairs to unload your groceries it's just like a pain yeah and so i am so excited to like have a garage yeah and it's like pouring down rain but i just like pull in the garage and then just walk the groceries like 10 feet into the kitchen mm -hmm. like so just nice. those little things i'm just like so excited about we have the same thing with we have the rain issue but then we also have the like sweating issue where it's so hot in south florida we're, we're in like total opposite i know we are of the, of the country <laughs> so hot in south florida where you're like you're like legit sweating and if you have to make multiple trips i lived upstairs too in my apartment and yeah. it was just it was terrible yeah terrible terrible that's a good one <laughs> um one thing that is stressful and kind of just scary about mm -hmm. being a homeowner that's totally different from renting is storms and hurricanes <laughs> like we just had hurricane dorian that was coming right for us like the projected map was headed like right towards our house new house and it was scary and i was traveling yeah was, it was here at fincon and so it was really scary especially since we don't have hurricane shutter or hurricane windows yet and my husband had to put up the shutters and it was just crazy stressful we have insurance but still it's still stressful yeah it's like that added piece like were you nervous because i mean you've experienced hurricanes mm -hmm. in florida so like were you guys nervous about it when you were a renter no no. <laughs> no you're like if this place floods uh, we had renters insurance yeah we're like that's a landlord's issue yeah like, yeah no not at all we were a little nervous about our cars but yeah they're totally different with the homeowner and you know even like things like flooding we don't know we've only been in the house for a couple of weeks so we don't know what floods what doesn't you know mm -hmm. the back patio may flood the kitchen may flood the roof may leak mm -hmm. all those things you don't know and it's it's so scary yeah or a tree may fall we have a big oak tree that is dying and that could fall right in our house like yeah so scary yeah i think something that is maybe a little nerve-wracking of buying mm -hmm. a home is like getting locked into something mm -hmm. you know like as a renter it's easy to be like oh you can be free to be like oh well if next year i want to move or i want to live somewhere else like oh it's mm -hmm. no big deal but i've had like a few dreams leading up to this of like not getting cold feet but you're yeah. like am i making the right decision mm -hmm. like this is like the biggest purchase of your life and so that's just a little bit stressful yeah even though it's like i know we're making the right decision mm -hmm. but still in the back of my mind i'm like are we like actually like mm -hmm. are all of our finances in order like i know they are but just mm -hmm. like i feel like i keep doubting myself yeah. on a lot of these things mm -hmm. and just being like okay are we for sure certain that this is the house that we want to be in for the next you know x amount of years so yeah i guess it's just like like doubting it mm -hmm. and yeah Getting and getting back into debt. We, we I know. worked so hard to become debt free. And now just getting back into debt. It's like, oh, yeah. I know. The way I think about it, I'm like, okay, like our house is like our loans, like $400,000. Mm -hmm. But like we paid off 87000 in two and a half years. So yeah. that would mean it would take us like, like we could do this. It's yeah. just going to take us four years, but we can do this. Absolutely. But, but it mm -hmm. is a lot. It's a yeah. Lot. Yeah. Another one for me is being able to start a family and start to have kids and a dog. And we've, you know, been wanting dogs. Jamie sends me legit like 20 Instagram posts a day mm -hmm. of 
golden retrievers and labs and pit bulls and dalmatians and all this stuff like we have dog fever more than we have baby we have baby or two but dog fever more yeah and just being able to get a dog and it's gonna be so much fun yeah have like a yard for yeah to turn around mm -hmm. and everything yeah. yeah okay this is another kind of silly thing that i'm excited for mm -hmm. but our master bathroom mm -hmm. has like dual sinks yeah which i'm so excited for jamie is more excited about that than i am <laughs> <laughs> I know. my own space and it also has like a separate like door to the toilet Mm. which I'm so excited about because then you can like still have two people in the and bathroom. Get ready in, yeah. Yeah, it's so, like one can go to the bathroom, one can like still get ready. So that's nice. Yeah, it's just, I'm, it's just those little things I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to, just like having that convenience a little mm -hmm. bit more. Another stressor is school zones and we specifically bought our home in a good school area because mm -hmm. that's really important to us and we like totally just crossed out certain cities because they have bad schools. But school zones can change, you know, yeah. and the good schools now, maybe really bad schools later. And so that is a scary factor of, mm -hmm. you know, what it is. And, you know, we've talked about wanting to do public schooling. And so that can that can really put a hitch in it, you know, and we may have to do homeschooling or move again because the schools can totally change. Yeah, that's true. Building mm -hmm. new schools and changing all the boundaries. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. I think like one last fear that we kind of have is like we are responsible for <laughs> everything that happens to this house you know and like yeah. if something goes wrong like we're the ones who have to mm -hmm. pay for that and fix it and we do plan to save money each month mm -hmm. into like a house maintenance fund so that we have the funds set That's aside so yeah you know to cover those costs but it's just mm -hmm. kind of nice as a renter to be like hey landlord the dishwasher's broken but yeah. now it's like Jacob, you're gonna have to fix the dishwasher or call someone who call knows YouTube. how. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look it up on YouTube. So there's just that added, mm -hmm. like, you know, we we're gonna have to take care of a lot more stuff. Yeah, thankfully Jamie and Jacob are very handy. True, that is a huge blessing. Yes, huge. but there's still stuff that like they may want to fix themselves. Yeah, but we don't want them to. True, I call the professional. I will pay for a professional. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> totally. All right, and then for some exciting things and wins is not having neighbors like right on top of you our neighbors in our apartment above us were so loud so loud and then at one point their ac leaked and it caused mold in our apartment Ooh. so like things like that where it's completely out of our control yeah and just you know it's stuff that you don't want to deal with and mm -hmm. so just having that nice quiet having neighbors but like not close just yes <laughs> their whole other building away that is a huge yeah. huge pro of being a homeowner totally um i think that something else that we're excited for yeah. is like having all this extra space mm. and we did have a two-bedroom apartment which is which is great i mean it's just the two of us we don't have kids or anything but like having this house it's like a four bedroom and it's like more space than what we really need right now yeah. but now I can have like in a designated total like office space, yeah. which will be so nice and like filming studio yeah. stuff. And then we also are getting like a treadmill for free from someone mm -hmm. for my work. And so we're going to have like a workout room. Like, yeah, I'm just looking forward to, I think I'm going to be more motivated to do that rather than yeah. like actually go to the gym. And especially, like I said, in Oregon rain so much, like when it's raining outside, I'm like, I don't want to like get up, go yeah. to the gym, like put on all these layers to go outside. To... Anyway, so I'm just looking forward to like having all this extra space yeah. in our house for that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys like realize, but being a YouTuber, like setting up all your equipment, taking it down, it was like 20 minutes each, like in the beginning before filming and after filming. So we yeah. have four bedrooms as well, and we're going to have a filming room. Yeah. And so just being able to leave all that stuff up. Oh, I'm so excited. So nice. So excited. So good. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming on yeah. my channel. Guys, go check out Marissa. She is amazing. Absolutely, absolutely love her. We have been following each other for years now, yeah. and... This is the second time we've been able to hang out, which is so fun, mm -hmm. so. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun, different type of collab of mixing up and filming together, which is so much more fun. But if you are new to Freedom in a Budget, if you're coming over from Marissa's channel, I hope they subscribe and join the family. And if you have not checked out Marissa already, please go watch her video, check out her channel. She is amazing. She is a dear, dear friend of mine. I absolutely love her to death. So go check her out, subscribe to her channel, let her know that Kelly from Freedom in a Budget sent you. And go check out my next video on home buying tips. The tips that I have for being a first time home buyer, there's so much like hidden things that you don't realize. So go check out that video. It will be linked up here and down below in the description as well.